Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday the 16th of November 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Philippians chapter 1 verse 27a which is the first portion of that verse and it reads, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Can you remember that age when you were 13 years old, those difficult times of being a teenager? You were not sure whether you were still a child or an adult? A difficult time for many, as it is an age of transition. Do you wish that you could forget that? I know my teenage years was quite difficult sometimes because you weren't too sure if you fit it in. It's like building a jigsaw puzzle. You've got this one piece and it won't fit in anywhere. There are times in our lives when we feel that we just don't fit in. Like maybe when you were 13 years old. The fact of the matter is, if you are a disciple and a follower of Jesus of any age, you may often feel that you don't belong in the world you're living in. At times it feels as if we're living in the children's book, which is entitled The Topsy-Turvy Kingdom. In this kingdom, hot is cold, up is down, and right is wrong, and night is no different from day. It's a place of pain where, true, where lies become the truth and right became wrong. And someone is bound to get hurt. This kind of sounds like the way that I view the world that we live in today. Everything is upside down. Wrong is right and right is wrong. When this topsy world overwhelms us with its meanness, let us remember we're not home. Like the old gospel song, this world is not my home. I'm just passing through. That was sung by Jim Reeves in 1962 for the older of viewers and I just happened to look at that yesterday. Philippians reminds us to live as citizens of heaven, conducting ourselves in a manner worthy of the good news of Christ. When I travel to a place that is not familiar with me, there are things that I don't like, but I'm representing my hometown, so I'm very careful to be gracious. We are still here because we are to be what is called the sweet aroma of Christ among those who are yet to be saved. My dear friends, we have an important mission. Scripture explains in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, He uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. Let us conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of Christ, that the sweet aroma does not become a stench in the nostrils of those whom we mix with. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.